Welcome to Good Mythical More. We're gonna explore the world of films that were turned into television shows that are so unbelievable, we're gonna think they're made up, but they're not, except when they are. Wow, that's gonna be cool. But first, uh, we're gonna play What's the Word? What's the word? Uh, I don't have my glossary anymore. It's actually called glossary, but I always said glossary growing up, so I still say that. Like galoshes? Uh, Hercus. Just like circus, but starts with an H. Hercus. Hercus. Probably has nothing to do with the circus. Hercus. Hercus. It definitely sounds like a part of the body. I thought it sounded like a situation. Like, um, I've really found myself in a complete hercus here. It's like a, it's like a really bad situation. Like a cluster of bad things happening all at once. That's a pretty good guess. In the same guess. place. Which is kind of consistent with what I'm hercus. thinking now, which is like when you're, you've are you got like a circus planned and a hurricane shows up and everybody's like, the show oh. must go on, Ooh. it's a hercus. Circus during a hurricane, maybe two on the nose? I don't know, let's find out. The rank smell of armpits, a medical term. It's a medical term? I'm 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 sensing a little hercus. Scalpel. Write that down. Scalpel. <laughs> hercus. Deodorant. Yeah, the patient is exhibiting hercus. They, they come up with these words so that like, in, they don't say bo in front of the patient. Because you like, want to sound patient smart. The patient stinks. Yeah. No, it's it's code. It's yeah. like hercus. The patient is hercusing. Um, got a little hercus. I think we've got a flat. I think we've we've, we've got a, we got a flatliner. Can I? They're can, hercusing. Can I say another word about the wheel video? Yeah. Um, it's one of my favorites. Oh, okay, well you probably should have said that right after you said what you already said about yeah. it. Yeah, I just wanna say it's one of my favorites. What if they don't come come to this It one? was weird, I mean it was, it. what What are they really doing? It's like, they have like this. You gotta be a little bit weird pantry, like, to go through with that dark, idea, and I love pantry. it. Pantry? Is that? I, I thought they were gonna say they were at, and we're at the Wisconsin Cereal snack museum or something like that. No, which they're is in like, their weird which is like basement somebody's house. Pantry. Yeah. Have you seen um like the garage of a couponer before? Yes. Oh boy. Yeah. And it's like a whole yeah. store. In but there. they didn't have a lot of multiples, so it didn't seem like that was the story. My mother-in-law went through that that like early two thousands coupon phase and would just have like so many coupons and so much bulk items. Like I have twenty eight boxes of Frosted Flakes. You know, like, yeah. Like it becomes a store. Yeah. And, and, she, we, and she, she, she tried let us use them. She tried to get us in on that. I just saw her house as, a, as the grocery store. I, I quit going to the grocery the store. Commissary. All right, let's hear, let's hear a movie turn into a television show. I'm trying to think of an example of this, like the most famous example of a movie that became a television show. Do you have one, you have an I example? Guess Lord of the Rings. Scream. Oh, Lord of the Rings, I guess, does count. Scream was a television show? MASH? Hey, on was your MASH movie? Uh, smart TV, MASH. when you hover, I don't know, I'm, I wanna see if I'm an idiot. Here. I don't hover, when mine you, won't hover. No, no, when you like, you know, you're picking your app, like you're picking your streaming service that yeah. you wanna watch. Yeah. And you know how like it gives you a little preview and like some things like Netflix, like the little like preview of things that you can like easily click on or like things that you're currently watching or that you've watched a bunch and they're like, hey, this is something that m most likely this person's gonna wanna click on. Hulu for me, the preview is always MASH. Uh, you've been caught else? in a MASH loop. Have you ever watched it? No. Then watch it. Well, you should. Hulu no, thinks I mean, you should. Like, Maybe I it'll have go away. I watched it, just not on Hulu. Hulu is, well, on Hulu, it's great. Okay, so what I'm hearing is. The Hulu version of MASH is the best. There's something wrong with only my Hulu because no one else has this MASH preview that comes yeah. up. Yeah. It's so mm -hmm. odd. Well, that it's is odd. very strange, but have you ever used the, and I don't know if anybody else besides Netflix does the just show me something, whatever they call it? Yeah. yeah. Like, have, have you let, have you let the algorithm show you something yet? I haven't. No. I haven't done it yet. No, because uh -uh. it feels like you lost. You know, you it feels like 
sh- you should be shamed. Like sometimes it's but really the algorithm hard knows. to find something to watch. I think I want to test it because I think there's a part of me that feels like I I haven't made all the right decisions to to feed into this yet. Like I'm still I'm still learning how to make good Netflix decisions, so I don't trust you to know. I haven't represented myself well yet. Is how is I that feel how about it, it works? Is it an algorithm that like takes into account everything you've watched it can, and serves you something? You, what oh, yeah. you've okay. clicked on and how long you've gone through it, how long you've watched it, it's learning all the stuff that you like. I think it's probably one day gonna be very, very good and you're probably gonna stop making decisions for yourself. You just sit down and yeah. plug Netflix right into your nose. I mean, what we, I mean, it, you know, it's, we're, we're talking like that doesn't happen with most people with YouTube all the time. Or even Spotify. I mean, it's, yeah, we are, we're, t- we're totally being assimilated into trusting the algorithms. We're taking people's choices and then making, getting better at predicting what their choices are gonna be, which ultimately takes away their choice. So there's gonna be people who are born into that system, and then how do they, they'll be like, I just make, I just watch what my parents' Netflix tells them to watch. Well, no, they have their own account. We'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, but it's also so convenient. But it is Watch terrifying. MASH. That's really the takeaway here, Stevie. I guess that's what Hulu's trying to tell me. Nine to five, you know oh, the movie. the Dolly Parton movie. 1980 movie uh, with John. This is James not a lies we tell. This is this is real. I think this is a show. The I, I series don't, came I don't out. Remember. Oh. 1982 to 1986. Oh, so this went. You're saying it was a show, and now it's going to a to a movie. You just gave us. No. Give us the answer. All of the entire game is there's a movie and then there's a series. So I'm always going to tell you both oh. those oh, things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's true like, or false. Is it true or false? True. Yeah. True. Uh, true. I was going to say no, so I'm going to stick to that answer because I don't remember this. How about the uh, stumble in the yeah. kitchen? It was real, and here's a clip. Oh, yeah. Judy, what did he do to upset you? Well, I'm afraid he may be, well, you know sort of perfect for me in every way. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that would be a bummer. Oh, I'm just not ready for a serious relationship right now. Yeah, you're right. Why not play the field till you're in your (laughs) 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 mid-60s? Neither one of those were Dolly, but... Very Dolly-esque. Dolly hair. I I guess one in the middle middle is an actress that I remember. I can't remember her name, but... That I can like the hair itself, the staging of like how Dang close it. the actors could get to each other. Yeah, right, right. I gotta say, I kind of like it. Yeah, I kind of like it. The bigger the better, in my opinion. I'm trying not to make any more Chase sexist revealed, jokes after uh, the uh, the doll segment. Oh god, the one of the actresses uh, played Babette in Gilmore Girls for you, Gilmore Girls. The one in the middle, there. right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. What is her? She's been in a lot yeah. of stuff. Um, the one with the more like uh, brown hair looked like Kristen Wiig at first. I was yeah, like, the mullet. Oh, is that Kristen Wiig? Does she? Ne- she hasn't aged at all in t- thirty years. Give me another. Home Alone, the original, came out in nineteen ninety. The series was short lived, ninety seven to ninety eight. <laughs> no way. There's no way. It does. I mean, it feels like something somebody would have tried, but uh, they kept squeezing it into movies with very varying degrees of success. But like, there's no way you can keep losing a child every episode of a television show. Yeah, I don't think it's a. Yeah, it's not a great premise for a season. Well, I don't think that would be. I don't think every episode. He, Home Alone. <laughs> it's just like a latchkey kid. Well, I think probably if the series was real, which it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, you know, there'd probably be like a seasonal arc. But I don't know if it's like every episode. I don't know. But yeah. well, you'd really start feeling sorry for that kid. You know? Uh, Dumb and Dumber. The film was in 1994. The series was 95 to 97. I would have known about that and watched I, it. You I know what? I actually think... Oh, well, you remember. I think there was a show. And it, of course, it was different actors. It might have, I think it was a female version. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but it was real. It was real? But, oh. but not a it? female version. Here's a, a clip from the show's intro. Oh, it's a cartoon. Yeah. 
There's no words. Oh. Okay, so it was an, it was animated. That makes sense. No, I think that was live action. Uh, I wasn't looking too closely, but uh, well, they didn't say anything, so I can't I can't get, really get the vibe. Yeah, it feels like but it's stupid. doing it as a as a, a cartoon. It'd be tougher to capture just how dumb it was. Like you've rewatched Dumb and Dumber, or you or watched Dumb and Dumber for the first time, like probably in the past ten years. Is that the is that true or not? Yeah, <laughs> and it's just so You're stupid. You're lying. You've never seen Dumb and Dumber. You still haven't seen it. I think that we tried to watch it with my kids, and and they were like, "This sucks." <laughs> yeah, that's part of it. And so, uh, and but Lando said I was there, but I don't even remember being there. Well, you should try again. Come I have I haven't seen it. I mean, I think I'd rather watch Step Brothers. Right. But if I had to choose a, a movie that I should time see, period. Yeah, it is different. It's a different. Like Dumb and Dumber was just like, it's so dumb that it comes back around and becomes incredible. Like you know what I'm saying? It's, well, it's, that's not why I haven't so watched dumb. it. <laughs> I haven't watched it because I thought it was dumb. I haven't watched it for the reason why I haven't watched anything. Because I'm You're too busy. I'm too busy doing other stuff that I can't really explain. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It's a mystery to me too. Yeah, it I mean, really is. You don't have a day planner, so it you really can't be is. that busy. Rambo, 1982 film, 1986 oh. series. See, now I'm thinking that yes. could be a cartoon too. It was a cartoon. I watched it. Okay, I believe you. Yeah, it's real. Here's Peek. Yes, yes. From the canyons of skyscrapers to the canyons of remote mountain peaks, Liberty's champion is unstoppable. So it's yes. basically that's badass. If if G.I. Joe was not an ensemble cast, basically. But Rambo don't need no same help. E same exact animation style. That's cool, man. Yeah, I remember watching that's, that. That's cool. That voiceover. I'm surprised that slipped under your ra radar because you watched a lot of that stuff back in the day. I would have been into that. that but that I think because I haven't seen the movies, Rambo. I wasn't into the show. I need Rambo, and it's, I'll it, take no one else. It's iconic. It's very G.I. Joe-ish, like you said. Like, Definitely. There's just It's like he's kind of an old, powerful man is the vibe of the, the voiceover. Yeah, yeah, old, powerful man, yeah. <laughs> it's like, does he talk like that in his normal Rambo. life? Rambo! I hope so. We need Rambo. I'd like to order a Big Mac with fries. I'm sure Sly Stallone did not do the voice. <clears throat> Who did the voice and what did they sound like? Probably pretty close. The, the VO guys that have to, like. You uh, know who did the voice? Sly Cologne. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'd like to take a moment to invite you to check out the mythical line of podcasts. Of course, you know about Ear Biscuits, but do you know about Best Friends Back? All right! Yeah. With Stevie and Nagin. Do you know about Dispatches from Myrtle Beach, where me and my dad talk for about a half hour every week, and we always learn something? Do you know about Trevor Talks Too Much? Do you know about a hot dog as a sandwich? Wow. There's something for everybody. Don't feel bad if you don't listen to all of them. Just choose your lane and just pedal to the metal. I like that. I like, I like the way you think about podcasts. The Exorcist, 1973 film, 2016-2017 TV series. Okay, I'm about to say, there's no way this would, this would be a recent television show, so that makes me think that it might be real, but I feel like I would know about it if it was that recent. This feels like something that's after the what we're you know the Renaissance, the golden age of television that we're in, of like people spending all this money on television. You're talking to, you're talking about more of the specialization period of television yes. when um, you know there's like there's a horror channel, like a whole streaming channel, um, at least one. Right. Can't remember what it's called right now. What's it called? Shutter. 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 Old shark. I bet this the old could be a channel. I bet this could be a shutter series. So I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exorcist. Every week, totally somebody makes new sense. gets exercised. Totally makes sense, but because I, I feel like I would, I would have known. I feel bad that I don't know about it, so I'm gonna have to say no. 
It's real. Oh, Here's yeah. a clip. I am not a crazy person. Oh, wow. I'm not saying you're crazy. Yeah. There is something inside my house. It's a demon. Is that Gina Davis? Uh, yeah. And it's trying to take my daughter. Oh, oh, God. oh, oh God. <laughs> well, we know about those crows flying into stuff. Yeah. See, that? that's what we did in Hazel, except our, our crow did not make it halfway in to the sliding glass yeah, it door. It just like became a crow <clears throat> from like a, from Amazon. <laughs> like, that crow. It, flew in, it flew into the door and then it became a crow from Amazon. So. So once she moved out of female baseball, she had a daughter who had a demon inside of her. Gina did a few things between A League of Their Own and that. She was in a really great movie in the 90s that I loved. What was it? Is Gina in? It was an action movie. What? You know what I'm talking about, Morgan? I'm looking it up. The Last Action Hero? She was like a star of an action movie. She was, she was badass. Thelma and Louise. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, that was, that, that was a Is she in the that new, as you're looking for that, is she in the new A League of Their Own? Did she make a cameo? In Pussy Island, whatever that is. <laughs> okay, yeah, I've seen that. Disappointing. A long Kiss Goodnight. Grey's long, Anatomy. I think I'm thinking about Long Kiss Goodnight. Is Sam Jackson in that? Yeah. Okay. Yep. But see, I saw that. She, How did I see she, that? She had a uh, the Gina Davis show. 2000, 2001. Yeah, that was a good year. That was one of my best years because of that Gina Davis show. <laughs> it really it perked was, you it, up? It really kept me going. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Uh, E.T. Mm, 1982 I, film. Yeah, this is animated. Five to 87. Series. Animated. Oh, yeah, you're probably uh, right. Yeah. You know, that, I, they did, anything that could be done, E.T. did it in the 80s. I recently found out that <clears> the... Young actor that played, mm, what's his name? Peter. Elliot. Elliot. <laughs> yeah. Lives Peter. in my neighborhood. Oh, hello. Huh. Hello, neighbor. Elliot lives in your neighborhood? Yeah. Apparently, he's a grown up now. It's weird. <laughs> he, 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 grew up. he grew up. His audition tape for Elliot went around a couple of years ago, and he was like, in in like a wreck, like in tears in his audition tape. Oh, it was it was amazing. Incredible. incredible. It yeah. was incredible. Uh, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna say, uh, because it makes too much sense, I'm gonna say that it didn't happen. Yeah, there was not a TV show. Oh, you got that me. There was almost you got me, a feature length film sequel called ET2 Nocturnal Fears. Yeah. Some, that never happened? Just leave it be. Yeah. There was a Forrest Gump script that was never, uh, that was never executed again. That's right. Harry and the Hendersons, 1987 film, which is the year I was born. I, I the watched series, the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, did, oh, you're fans. <coughs> I did not see the movie, but I remember being really excited about the show. Okay, let's uh, bring back some memories for you with this clip. Comedy. See? Look how funny it is. It is a good comedy. It's a good suit. He's about to get hit by Jeep Cherokee. Down you just and see they take him home. Your feet's too big. Don't want you cause your feet's too He's big. He's cute. Can't you use you cause your feet's too big. I mean, oh gosh, is that a wiener hanging down there? It looked like one. <laughs> oh. That is a good suit. I think it's one of the best practical effects faces that I've seen on anything. I know. Like, why is it so good and convincing and doesn't look stupid and, he, and his mouth moves and his eyes move and there's lots of, because I know that it's it's being controlled by someone. He's not, it's not like an actor's face mm -mm. that oh. is doing oh, it. you think? It is an actor's face for the eyes. No, it, it might be, like it might be a really no, I think expressive. No, I think I've seen a, uh, I think I've seen a YouTube video where the guy is controlling it. They did something similar for the Ninja Turtles movies, I believe around the same time. But something about the Ninja Turtles didn't look nearly as good because they're fake turtles that don't look like real <coughs> turtles. It just looks like a sculpture moving. Yeah. But that looks like what you would imagine Bigfoot to look like. I kind of want to watch that again. Hey, what you doing this afternoon? Watching that again. All right. That's yeah. actually the second thing that Hulu recommends to me. <laughs> Mash and Harry and the Hendersons. Check out our entire slate of mythical podcasts. Brand new seasons of Dispatches from Myrtle Beach and Best Friends Back All Right are out now. 
And in case you missed it, Ear Biscuit's September return this year. Uh-oh. 